had to wake up early because I had to go somewhere. Um, I have an ultrasound appointment at at eight, and um, I decided to get ready before Penny wakes up because we have to leave at seven, and she wakes around six thirty. So I don't think I have time to shower and do all this. So right now it's six o'clock. I have half an hour to eat my breakfast and get ready too, and then she wakes up. Every morning I find her diagonal like that. So it's time for a crib. Today's breakfast is yogurt, granola, and fruits on top. Um, this was on sale. It's uh, originally $3.99, but it's buy one, get one free. So I decided to buy two. Super yummers. I usually can't finish all of it. I usually eat half of it. Good morning, Penelope. Good morning. The light's going on. <laughs> oh. It's different today, eh? Mommy woke you up instead. I do wake her up at 6.30 because she does get up at 6.30, but if she doesn't, I try to do it at 6.30 so that her sleep schedule is set so that she knows to wake up every day at 6.30. Isn't that right? Good morning, Penelope. Hi. Are you ready for a Monday? Monday morning. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay, let's get you changed and dress. Okay, we gotta do outfit for the day on the change table today. Yes, I know it's so different. So she's wearing a gray leopard print uh, dress. What I love about this dress is that it comes with a onesie. Now that's what I love because it's so easy. You don't have to wear anything else under. Sometimes dresses just comes like a dress and nothing in it. And it drives me crazy because she always pulls up her dress or top and it makes her stomach exposed. So I love this outfit like that. This is actually from her nana, Jerry, well, my nana, Jerry. So it's her great-grandmother, and it's a perfect buy, perfect match. And then I just put some high stock sockies on her. Yeah, you're so roly-poly today. You're so roly-poly today. And then topped with a head with a, a pink bow. I like pink bows on her. I think she looks good with pink bows. Makes her head look smaller, I think. Right? Yes. It's time for you to eat now, yes. Yay! <laughs> Penny and I are heading over to my parents' house. Um, it's 7.20 in the morning. I don't know how traffic's going to be at this time of the day. Sure, while I'm heading towards downtown and then back like, up on the other end of the city. 
lots of traveling, but it looks pretty good so far. Um, I, I haven't stopped or stalled or anything, so it looks pretty good at this time of the day. But yes, so Penny and I are going to my parents because I gotta drop her off and have my mom babysit her while I go to my ultrasound. Um, no, I am not pregnant. Um, the ultrasound is actually for my neck. I am, I, I am, or I do have thyroid cancer. I didn't really get the clear, like, oh, everything's gone. But it's more of like, oh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it type of thing. But um, yes, so last, not last year, but two years ago, 2011 August, um, there was a growth uh, that they suspected in one of my lymph nodes in my neck. Um, it's been like it's been there like since day one, but they just don't know what it was. And every time I do, you know, a diagnostic test, it's always there. And then when I changed to a new endocrinologist, she wanted to be a bit more aggressive and find out what is there, if it's really scar tissues or what is it. Because every time I do a body scan, it shows up on the monitor and they just don't know what it is. So two years ago, I had a biopsy done. I had five biopsy done actually on the, I don't know, the lymph node and it came back inconclusive so then my endocrinologist is like okay we got to do a surgical biopsy so we were pregnant with pennies obviously you know talking to the surgeon we could not do any surgeries um but we will have to reapproach that idea again so now pennies here um i just went to do my checkup maybe a month ago to see what's the course of action and my endocrinologist still wants to push ahead and find out what is this you know, lump or this thing that keep on shining up on the monitor. So before we start doing all that, we need to do an ultrasound, which is today, to see what's going on in here after a year. So that's why I have to drop Penny off at my parents and then head over to the imaging center at the hospital to do the ultrasound. Just want to show you guys uh, that I was wearing. Um, hold on. Where did that t shirt go? Here we go. Sorry. I was wearing this t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see, but obviously there's embellishment, but on this t-shirt, there's like sparkles, like glitter. Yes, you see there's glitter like that. Wow, lesson learned. Do not wear glitter tea unless you want a glitter baby because um, she just woke up from that. But I spent a good 10 minutes just picking off glitter off her face. I don't know if you could still see some glitter. Yeah, see there's one on her forehead. Right there. And there was a few on her cheeks. <laughs> so, mamas, new mamas out there, watch what you wear. <laughs> because your baby might have a whole face full of it. Oh, we just got uh, our guest bed delivered. Well, it will be Penelope's future bed, but um, yeah, we just got it delivered right now. Pretty cool. While wow, she's here, she just woke up from her. She had an hour lap, lap, an hour nap today, which was awesome. Yay, baby. Um, I don't know. I think I put her in, instead of putting her in the Mama Roots nap, I placed her in our bed because I want to start sleep training her to sleep on a mattress instead of using the bouncing ball to put her to sleep or the mama root to put her to sleep because I want to make sure that when we got her crib that she knows when we place her down it's a place to sleep so that's what I'm trying to do with our mattress first and then slowly we'll transition it her into that into her crib yes so far she's a really good sleeper 
and it's been sometimes half an hour to an hour or so. She's been good. She's been good. She really loves her fingers though, so. And she's little Miss Drooly, and we gotta start doing bibs then. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the yummy fingers. Oh, the fingers going up the nose. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's so glittery. I see glitter near her eye, on her forehead. Oh. What do you see? What do you see? <laughs> How are you? Uh, oh? Oh. Do you like sitting up here? Uh, yes. Would you like to be uh, in the same level as mommy? Actually, you're higher than mommy right now. Yes. You like to see mommy up here? It's official. Uh -huh. Caught it on camera. <laughs> Finger got stuck in her nose. <laughs> Cross eyed. Nope. Sorry, baby. Didn't mean to. What time is it now? 6 20. 6 20. Hi, I think we'll head out to get some dinner. Well, I'll get some dinner because Daddy has dinner with the client. So guess what we're watching? <gasps> hey, babe. We have cable. I don't know. I just decided to see, oh, let's see how if the TV works, if it turns on. And it did. And it turn on with cable. Somebody else's cable, maybe? I don't know, whatever. We're watching it now. Ready to say goodnight. I just placed Penny down for the night. Oh, and I am going to enjoy my dinner. Yeah. She, I thought she'll sleep at 7.30. We're in. I could eat dinner, but no, she didn't. So, just want to show you my dinner right here. Oh, there she go. Just scratching herself. Yes, so it's a glass of wine, and I have sun-dried tomato pesto with the olive bread. And my glass of Pinot Grigio. I'm going to do that while I edit yesterday's video log and today's video log. Hopefully, it will be up, up by tomorrow. We're getting internet tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be up. I'm sorry if you guys missed out a lot. This chair is supposed to be Obi's. Because Obi always sits in the, in the old place, but now Hugo claimed it. 